We did television outside of the window, yes. But about five, six years ago, I'm not. Here it is. To surprise fans, you have to surprise yourself. That's not always easy. Here it is. Johnny Hallyday, ça représente en France la plus grande star qu'on a. I like riding motorcycles. I like drive, to drive fast cars and things like that. Oh. I won't tell you everything. Right, once we've um, agreed on the pose, we take photographs of the subject all the way through uh, 360 degrees on a base card with a plumb line in the background. So that when we're back in the studio, we can, um, uh, we can uh, put a set square on the photographs to um, intersect the lines on the base card. And then in space with a plumb line, I can position where the, where the plumb line intersects the base card. And then with the, with the heights, I can uh, assess where the various parts of the armature need to go. It's quite a lot to do in a small amount of time, yes. Uh, in particular, the, the head measurements. When we get to those, it's really quite an ordeal for the, for the sitter, I think. An awful lot of uh, information needs to be got in a, sh a short space of time. So the next thing I'll do is, with the photographic information and my measurements, I'll build a, a metal armature, which is basically a skeleton, then I'll build a clay figure over the top of that. Um, I'll make it the head part detachable, so when the head is roughed out, I'll detach that and work on that to greater detail. Uh, and when that's finished, I put it back on the body, uh, finish up the neck detail, and then it's ready for casting. 
I read up about him beforehand. I've been watching videos and, and uh, looking at photographs of him to try and find out what sort of person he is and uh, what is the typical sort of pose that I imagine he'd like to be seen in. I'll obviously have to discuss that with him when he turns out. Um, I think especially for a performer, you want to have something that's animated. And my particular thing is to try and get a, a nice spontaneous expression so it doesn't look too wooden. So yeah. I'm hoping he'll go for um, in, in, in mid, mid um, an expression in mid-song. It's very difficult for someone to keep that kind of expression, so there will be a lot of variation. So that's where the artistic uh, interpretation comes into a certain extent. You've got to be selective about what you choose. I mean, you just know when it's, when it's right and when it's finished. What we do is um, hyper-realist work, but really the, the essential core of the, the likeness should be done, if it's going to work, should be done very quickly. It should be there from the start, and then the rest of it is putting in detail. So, and I've done this a few times, several of us do. If, if it's wrong, just scrap it and start again. The thing about wax, um, Madame Tussauds are trying to make artificial people, really. They're trying to make something that looks, rather than it being a proper piece of sculpture, it's trying to make a, a replica of a human being. And wax, it's felt, has a translucent quality, which is similar to skin. But essentially, yes, it is the same sort of thing as candles. They're big candles we make. Nous avons réalisé des petits biscuits en farine complète pour satisfaire un, un petit clin d'œil, pour satisfaire M. Hallyday, car nous savons qu'actuellement, il fait un petit régime et il est friand de boudoir, biscuits comme ceci, en farine complète. Johnny Hallyday, ça représente en France la, la plus grande star qu'on a et depuis 30 ans. Et ce qui a fait Johnny Hallyday, c'était sa, sa longévité en fait. Ça fait 30 ans qu'il est au top et jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Voilà. Mais vous, vous êtes euh, un, une personne jeune. Je suis jeune, mais je l'ai connu tout petit. Et, euh, mais en fait, Johnny a rassemblé euh, trois générations en fait. Les, 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 nos parents, euh, maintenant moi, et puis voilà, ça continue. Donc, at the beginning, he, he had a, the first rock and roll music with uh, just guitar and now he has a head and uh, he, he know how to evolve to, to stay on the top and that's why uh, a whole a lot of people like, like him. What kind of attitude do you want? Do you want something like on stage or do you want something like uh, Relax or whatever, I don't know. Right, I know that um, Nick, the sculptor, has had a few ideas. I was on stage, if, that, if you're agreeable to that. Yeah. Um, you have, uh, because Joel has some pictures of... Uh, <coughs> but I'll show you. I'm hoping to like to pose with a guitar. And I thought if we did something along these lines, yeah. possibly with your foot up on a speaker, you can imagine that that's a speaker. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to tell me what you think about this, but this is how I envisage this personally. Something like this with your guitar, holding it back and then seeing it like this, and leaning forward. Ah bon Non mais ta femme est au courant que tu veux étrangler les enfants aussi Oui, mais Alors, je tu, dis ça, es, tu es enregistré. Oui, oui, tu fais un sourire. Oui. There's one bit in um, the concert you did, and you're sing and you're sort of singing down to the people yeah, yeah. in the front, so you're relating down to them in, mm -hmm. the, in that way. And we thought that was very sort of personal, sure. because we haven't got we've got figures standing there with guitars, we've got figures standing, mm -hmm. but we haven't got anything really with people going downwards. Yeah, something like, like uh, yeah, maybe not quite so low as that, but. 
Well, usually, usually the stage is up. So yeah. Is this this probably the stage would only be about this high. So if you imagine that I'm here, you know, and I'm on the so yeah. What do you what do you think, Nick? Because yeah. we then will get people that can stand, you know, near. You. Anyway, yeah. I I don't wear watches. All right. Okay. Never. Yeah. Cheers, man. Yeah, I'm also blessed. What do you think of the amount of money? Yes. I like that. Would you want your guitar? You wouldn't have your guitar. Your guitar would be gone. I don't have a guitar with me. Yeah. So, but that looks good. Well, you have where, a guitar? You, you have you? a guitar, yeah. No, we, we didn't. Yeah. I don't have a guitar. Oh, we could have a guitar. Yeah. I don't use a guitar myself. Anyway. Yeah. But that looks this, this really good. And I like how you've got your leg there. You know, that yeah. It's great. More like a... Yeah. I don't know where you hold the mic as well. It's distinctive. Yeah, and that's really good. That, you know, that, you know, I don't really watch myself. I, I suppose <laughs> I do. Yeah. And, and what clothes would you wear for this concert? In um, what, what was well, it? Uh, Joel will give you some pictures of the, the yeah. stage. We have different kind of. Ah, Joel, il aurait fallu amener des des photos pour montrer les costumes, mais comme ça, moi, il met les pieds de main, moi, j'en sais rien. Oh, you can watch. So if you go down a bit, yeah. you know, about, probably about that distance yeah. in height, it's quite good. Yeah, about there. So if you relate to Lisa, how, how would you... Look at her? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so, do you think it should be more... More animated. Yeah. So if you're singing, so if you're singing a, 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 what type of song would you think this ought to be? I got scared about that. You're like, wow. Yeah. 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 You need something that's more of a key yeah. that you can. Yeah. yeah. That was good. But yeah. don't, don't, you know, don't make a noise because you throw it. Yeah. 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 Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of like. What we need to do. Oh, hang on. We you, you went mm, like that. You went. Mm, and you used your, your lips a little bit forward. Can you try? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Something like that. Be my Good. Actually, I, I remember when we did that picture, we, we had a guitar, we did like this. That's the sort of thing you have to have bear in mind. If you could sort of get into the pose each time, you sort yeah. of get into the pose in the photograph rather than holding it, so it's more spontaneous. Mm -hmm. I knew it would be tricky. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like this. Yeah. Great boy. I, I had this made the same color as mine. Yeah.
expression. Yeah. What we really did is, to, first of all, when we started, we, we translated mm -hmm. American songs into French. So it was about the same, no. same sort of uh, <coughs> music, anyway, except it was in French. Well, it's one of five. What would you like? Yeah, we still keep working. We put maybe more blues into it. Uh, now I'm working with musicians. We've been working together. What we go, what will be like the album coming out? Fourteen. Like it's, uh, we could say like. Uh, Still working, like you know, like Sweden uh, style, Kerensky style, and uh, seven and blues into blues, like. Uh, well, one of your artists six. are like, like Gary Moore, Seven you know? Back, right. Six in the um, Parisian Wars. Yes, right. yes. So you like that blues style guitar? Yes. Right. I like guitars, actually. Yeah. I, I always put guitars everywhere. <laughs> okay. I think it's a question of... Uh, Different generation. When I started, I was 16, and people of 16 92. were coming to my shows. Later, I had children, and I've right been listening to my records with the children, and the children have been raised into my music, and I, I went all over with the music. I don't care about business. I do what I like when I want to do it. Uh, I live more rock and roll, I think, as a business, as a businessman. Well, first of all, you can't go everywhere alone. You need some bodyguards or people like that, you know. I can go in a, in a shopping center. Well, you know, like everybody else who's known. I was on tour all the time because uh, I've been raised, I'm being raised by um, dancers. And uh, since I was three years old, I've been on tour all the time with them. So uh, <clears throat> I didn't do much except being on tour. I mean, I'm still on tour. <laughs> Oh yes, I have people I admire. 
Okay, so who like you... Jimi Hendrix, for example. Jimi started with me, actually, through our tour. Well, when we started to work together with Jimi, uh, definitely it was a, a, diff, a new style of, of music. I mean, that's when the pop came, you know, the... the <clears throat> it was not yet the, the hard rock and roll time, it was more pop. Uh, Mick Jones uh, just happened like that because I met him and uh, he played. He played with my ex-wife on stage, Judy Butler. And then uh, after that, uh, he wanted to do more rock and roll, and uh, I told him, "Well, come with me." And he said, "Yeah." And we stayed together about eight or nine years together. I did an album with um, Uncle Pie, and he was working with Uncle Pie in that time. So I came to Paris. We did an um, not all the album, but most of the album together. And, um, and after that, well, I liked him, and uh, I suppose he liked me, and uh, we did an album together in London. And then I had a girl I produced as a singer called uh, Nanette Walkman, and uh, he played guitar on, on the album and wrote some songs. I don't want to do something. I don't like this, but I do it because it will sell. I want to do it something because I like it. I used to, I don't do it anymore. I've been living poor, I've been really living rich. I could live poor, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we did television outside of the window, yes. But about five, six years ago, I'm not. <laughs>